Hey guys, my name is Adam Gasim and once again I am back with one of my new YouTube video where I'm going to show you how to integrate artificial intelligence chatbot to your WordPress website. A chatbot is the best way to convert your website visitors into the customers by engaging them into a conversation rather than asking them to fill forms. Using a chatbot would mean spending 50% less on sales. Now, for example, you have a web design agency and you want to create the chatbot for your website. So firstly, you need to enter a URL saddamkasim.com forward slash chatbot. So this will redirect you onto the collect.chat page. Now here, you can sign up with your email address or you can also use any of your existing Gmail account. And it really don't need any of your credit or debit card to sign up. This is completely free. So let's click on sign up with Google. Once you have successfully signed up, you will be seeing this type of pop-up window. You need to select the first option widget and then click on start creating button. Now, you can simply skip this tutorial because I'm already going to explain you the process. Now, this is the chatbot builder page. Here we can see three tabs available. Preview, where we can check how exactly our current chatbot looks like. Second tab is a script from where we can add the elements like what are the content that should be displayed onto the chatbot and under the publish we can launch this chatbot or we can add it onto our website so i will come to this publish section later on let's jump onto the preview tab first in the preview tab the first option is position so there are three positions available by default the first box specifies that the chatbot icon will be displayed at the bottom right corner which is of course the ideal position of any chatting box. If you select the middle one, it appears over here and if you select the last one, the chatbot appears at the bottom left corner. So I suggest you to select the first one. Now welcome message. Currently it says let's chat. So you can customize this message something like hey, let's chat. So that's completely up to you. Keep it short. Next option is Avatar. You can select any of the existing Avatar or you can simply click on this plus icon and you can upload any of your existing photo. I'm just leaving it as it is. You can select the color from here like green, pink, violet. So that's also up to you. I'm not changing the color right now. Let's keep it orange. Here you can enable or disable the collect.chat branding credits but this option is available only for paid version. So leave it as it is as even free version do have almost useful features. These were some basic settings. Now let's create the chat box. So we need to jump onto the second tab which is a script. Alright. So here we can see on the left hand side there are many predefined fields available that you can use into your chat box in order to organize the content. By default, three fields are already added. Hello. So this is basically a message box. What are you looking for? This is the multi-choice element that has been added by default. And that is a message thank you. So firstly, let's delete all these messages here. And we can start from scratch. Okay. So now this is completely a blank chat box. Now let's add a welcome message for the visitor of the website as well as we can collect the email address in a very smart way. So here we have so many elements available. Let's click on email element. So it appears over here. Now the default message is what is your email address? Well, at the very beginning, if you will ask anyone what is your email address, the chances of getting that email address is really very low. So better would be we can edit this text. So here you can hover and then click on this edit icon. Now let's delete this text from here. And we can type something like, Hi guest, thanks for your interest. In case we get disconnected, can I have your email address? So in this way, of course, the chances of getting the email address is high. Now here we have certain options available. Back button. So of course, this is the first option. So there should not be any kind of back button for the user to go to the previous step. Skip button. If you enable this option, then the email address field will be optional for the user. So I suggest you just leave it as it is. Error message. In case if the user enter a wrong email address, I mean the format of the email address would be wrong, then this error message will be displayed. So you can edit this message as well. Once you are done, then click on done button. 
Now let's go back to the preview and we can check the current chatbot with the current option that we have created. So let's click on this icon. Here we go. Hi guest, thanks for your interest. The message that we have written in the previous step, it is showing over here. Now let's type a wrong email address, something like J. And then we can either hit enter or click on this icon. So this is the error message displayed. Please enter a valid email address. Now if I enter J at gmail.com, then it's fine, no error message. Now let's add few more elements to this chat box. So we can jump onto the script tab. Okay, now here we are going to use this multi select element and then we can click on edit. Let's edit this text first. What are you looking for? And now here we can pass the options. For example, web design services. If you would like to add one more element, just click on this plus icon. So a new row is added. Here we can type like SEO, then again plus, and we can type here. So in the same way, you can add as many as services. Now here we can enable this back button because this is the second element that we are creating. So of course, there's a previous element also exist. Once it's done, click on this button and it is added. Now again, go back to the preview tab and here we can test the current chatbot. Okay, let's enter j at gmail.com. All right, it displays the services in this manner. I mean the multi-select box that we have selected, it appears like this. What are you looking for? So user can have more than one option to select or he can select all or just one option. And then after he needs to click on confirm. Okay, let's add one more element. So it's time to ask the budget from the client or from the visitor. So we can click on this range element and it appears over here. Now let's click on this edit icon. And here we can type what is your budget? You can enable the back button and prefix. This could be the currency, for example, dollar or whatever the currency you would like to mention. If you would like to have a suffix, you can also enter in this box. Otherwise, it is optional. Now here we can enter the minimum value that user needs to select. For example, you are working on a project for which you charge at least $200. So you can type 200 as the minimum. And here you can type like 10,000. So that's up to you. Here in the step box, you can set like whenever someone would be increasing the bar, what would be the increasing value? For example, if you select here like five or six, for example, five. So whenever someone use the slider, it will increase something like 205, 210, 15, something like that. Once it's done, click on done button. And then again, we can check the preview. All right, so you can see budget appears something like this. Minimum is $200. Once someone increase it, you can see it is increasing like 555, then 565 or 710, something like that. And the maximum range is $10,000. Once the user confirm, then again, the next option will be available. So this is the way how you can create a complete chatbot for your WordPress website. So I'm just leaving it as it is now. Now let's add this chatbot to your WordPress website. So click on this publish. And here we can see the first option, add to website. Leave this add to WordPress website. Just go to the first one. And here is the JavaScript code. Simply click on this copy and this entire code is copied. Login into your WordPress website. We need to add that JavaScript code to our WordPress website in order to display that chat box. Now the question is where to paste that JavaScript code? Well, we can use a free plugin for that. Simply click on add new. And we need to add a free plugin in the search box type custom CSS JS. All right. So the first plugin is from silkypress.com. Install and activate this plugin. All right. So the plugin has been activated and we can see a new tab custom CSS JS. So hover on it and you need to add a custom JS code. Okay. 
Now in the title box, you can give it any name, something like chatbot. This is just for your reference. There is a default text written. Simply select all and then delete. Now we need to paste the copied JavaScript code that we have taken from the chatbot website. So this is the code. That's all you have to do and then click on publish. So now this JavaScript code has been properly added to your WordPress website. Now in the new tab, I'm opening the same website, carbonclabs.com. Okay. So at the very bottom, you can see, Hey, let's chat. There's a chatbot. Once we click on it, it's working fine. Let's enter a new email address like saddam at gmail.com. Of course, this is not my real email. So please don't send any email onto this email address. And then we can select the services confirm. Okay. And we can select a budget then confirm. So in this way, you can add as many as messages in this chat box. If you like this video, please subscribe, like and comment. Also, I instruct on Udemy. So if you are interested in learning the WordPress and the affiliate marketing and other things in detail, go ahead to my Udemy webpage and you can enroll into any of my courses. The link has also been provided in the video description. Thank you very much.